I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Chance the Rapper promotes his new album while his wife releases a statement about their divorce. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What's up, y'all? What it do? Say where you signing in from. What city you in? Sorry, I went live. Say where... Hey, Wagwan! Aisha, what up? Yeah, I wanted to talk about the album on the on the live for once because I really don't be doing that very often. But I figured this is probably the best time for people to ask their questions. Get them off. Shout out to Vegas. Shout out to Milledgeville, Seville. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my brother D Lo. Shout out to Big Homie Slang. We still gotta get in, get some art done. Shout out Jazz Winter, my homegirl. Signing in from Australia. Somebody asked if we get number one dubstep. All right, so check, I'm working on a new album. That's really what I wanted to, to, to bring y'all in on. I'm working on a new album. So this is the number one dub play, it's not going on there. Um, shout out to The Voice. Some people said they watching The Voice. That's not what this live is about. This is about the star line. Shout out Twist to my OG, our West King. You know what I'm saying? Checking in for 290. But yeah, I got a new album coming out called Starline. I got a new fro growing in. My fro getting long. You can't really tell. I got some shrinkage going on, but my joint getting long. I can braid it now. I might braid it at. Um, but yeah, questions about Starline. Anybody got a question? You got any known features? I'll tell you one of the features. I'm going to just say Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is one of the features. He's actually on that song that I previewed called... Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you the name of the piece, but the song that I, that I got that goes, um, my mama used to always smell, what'd she say? What'd I say? My mama used to always, oh, my mama used to always keep a little bit of drove. The incense in the window while she folded our clothes. Sorry, that was a doorbell. I'm at Disney World right now, y'all. Don't forget I got kids. Got it? Um, but yeah, um, Lil Wayne's on that song. And so is Smino. Um, somebody said get no name on the album. All right, so pretty cool story. I don't know how many of y'all know this. I grew up with Fatima. I grew up with no name since we were little ones. And we actually had like an hour long phone call the other day. Where we were just checking in. And we were talking about regular real shit, friendship shit. But also talked a little bit about music. So hopefully it wouldn't be a star line without, without no name. Somebody said I should lock my hair. Oh, that's Aisha. Hey, shout out to the Whaler. Shout out to all the all the stuff that your family has done for music. I uh, appreciate you being in here. I should lock my hair. If I if I do lock it up, I'm gonna wait till I get back to JA so I can get it rasta. Um, somebody said Vic on the album. Obviously, um, a lot of the a lot of the the hunger for writing, just being honest, came out of Lincoln with Vic and. Um, Vic and uh and Aja Monet doing writing exercises. That's why y'all keep getting these 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 text videos. I actually saw somebody say uh on Reddit, because I do check out Reddit sometimes. Somebody said, Man, at this point, we probably heard half the album. It's like, no, I just got hella raps. I got too many raps. That's the reason why the album still ain't come out yet. It's cause I gotta figure out what's going on in the album. Um Another known feature that I should shout out, Infinity Song. That's my kid's favorite. Favorite record is the record I did with Infinity Song. It's called Shine. Um, that's one of my favorite songs on, on the album, too. Somebody said, how many tracks on the album? I'm thinking 16. I'm thinking 16, you know? And every day I want to make it more, but I really would like to whittle it down to just an easy 16 songs. Um, hey, Ma. What were you going to say? Oh, yeah, I am live. My mom said, hey. Hey. Um, we had, we we on a spring break trip. My grandmother's in here. She said, no, please, no. Why you what do you say no about what do you say no about Lama Jan? 
Why are you on Instagram? Um, somebody said, how are you putting it out? That's something I'm trying to figure out too. So a really important thing for me is that all of these songs, they deserve like they own space to to live and to and to be understood as their own pieces. They're all a part of an album, but because they so different, each track is so much its own thing and such a big idea and a in a small, you know, audio piece. You know, I've been doing like these paintings, like trying to get, you know, um, paintings or sculptures or other things to help realize the idea more. And so uh, with all that, it's like, it's hard to fit all that in a streaming service. And they got all their like, I don't know, traditions and ways that they operate that aren't necessarily conducive. So I don't know, I might go to Ye Wei, you know? I don't know yet. Great question though. All right, um, more questions. Somebody said a slur. I don't know what you talking about. Um, you're gonna add a track with one of your voice team members. Maybe, who knows? If I did, it'd probably be Manessa. Cause she was, she was super raw. She was on with me the last time I was on the show or maybe somebody from the new one, I don't know. Um, uh, so somebody said the track with the different art pieces attached is a tough idea. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, I'm tired, yo. You know, like if I was to ask y'all, you know, if I was to show y'all the cover art for like a, you know, like an iconic album and ask you, like if I showed you the Thriller album art and asked you what song you think of. Like there'd be, you know, a million different answers in here because, you know, that's one image that's like supposed to portray a whole bunch of incredible songs. And for me, I don't feel like there's a cover art that can really put it all in. Maybe there is, you know, who knows? But like as of right now, it's so different. You know, all the songs are so different that I will kind of want it. Every song to have its own voice, you know what I mean? Um. Also. Uh, just like in light of everything that's going on, I just wanted to affirm to y'all, yes, the game is in shambles. The game is in disarray right now. Um, and I think it's the perfect time. And I think a lot of y'all would agree it's the perfect time, um, for me to just do what I do. So I've been, uh, I've been in the, in the gym. I've been working, working rapping rapping y'all haven't even heard the the best raps like y'all haven't heard the best songs oh my god uh but yeah i'm gonna continue to try and feed the streets with these uh these text videos i think the text videos are so raw too because it's like you know the saying a, a, a picture's worth a thousand words like some of the ideas that i'm trying to paint some of the things that i'm trying to say on some of these songs it's like it's too many images for like a picture or a video to portray. So like sometimes just getting to see those, see these songs word by word and then and then imagine it as a, I don't know how to describe it. I don't want to sound too artsy. Questions, questions, questions. Anybody got questions? Shout out to you, the man Drews. He said, keep going, brother. He said, keep going, brother. Keep that positive energy. Amen. Thank you, man. Janice Joe said the new one goes hard. Thank you, man. That's just. A thought. I didn't. I haven't really. Just being honest with y'all, that's not a whole song. That's just a verse that I had that was hard. That I was like, I got so many of those. Those little videos with the syllabic text on them. That sometimes I just be like, might as well let one go. You know what I mean? Till I figure out how to put out this whole project. Um, but I hope y'all are liking those little, little videos. And I hope y'all are liking those right now. Gonna see my face. Gonna see me with no hat on. You feel me? Gonna see my ice dancing it just won't it can't stop it's this it's like enough with the bachata um somebody said afro beats i would love to get some afro beats somebody said what song did you produce with with jermaine dupree we did a really dope song called pretty girls roll up um i don't know if it's going on starline i don't know if it's going on one of jermaine dupree's projects but it was really cool getting it to to really you know get to know and meet somebody whose music has inspired me my whole life um and sometimes somebody's got to ask me about it to put it in perspective. I, that was a really big deal for me. And because it was behind the scenes, because it was in the studio, I probably would have never talked about that shit unless I got, you know, unless like somebody asked me about it. So thank you for asking that question. Somebody said, do a feature with YG Marley. I would in a second. That's my guy. Yo. 
Um, shout out to YG Marley. Good dude. He looks like my brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he's an amazing musician. And so I'm going to keep telling people that we relate it. Um, somebody said, yeah, shout out J.I.D. I was just talking to him last week. I was in Atlanta recording for the album and did a whole bunch of stuff, man. And he, uh, we tried to get up. We didn't end up meeting, but you know what I'm saying? Um, somebody said Tizo. I got a song with Tizo from a long time ago that I got two, a couple songs with Tizo from a long time ago that I never put out. I've been thinking, you know. But I'll probably just get back up when I make more songs. That, that's the thing about art when you're a rapper. It's like, you you gotta like, I don't know. It's like, a song will be dope for the time when you make it. But when you actually like, by the time it's ready to go, it's like, that's not even how I feel no more. You know what I mean? Um... <laughs> Um, will you do a listening party at the Remova? Yeah, so actually, I'm about to do a f- series of these. They're supposed to be a secret, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway, since it's only 1,400 people on this live. I'm doing, I'm gonna do a series of like listening sessions in Chicago at Remova, some like private, like silent disco esque kind of joints where I just like get some cool people around, get some bean bags. You know, and show the project. I think the the Remova is a big part of the new project and how I get to release it. And I really like the idea of being like, you know, I come from open mics. So like when I was growing up, performances were never, and this is like for all artists, but it wasn't like I'm going around performing my biggest hits. Like I'm performing a new song every night when I'm at a, when I'm at an open mic. And that was my high school experience was like consistently showing new pieces. Whereas today... I'll go on tour and play songs from five or six or seven or eight or ten years ago that everybody knows to the word knows the words to and it's comfortable, but it's not like I don't know. To me it's like being able to show you over and over again, this is new stuff, this is new stuff I'm working about. Hey, what up my hey, that's my homegirl. I'm the old lady. Um But yeah, who would y'all like to see be on the project? Let me ask y'all some questions. Somebody say Yachty. I got a Yachty. For you. I, we just did a track, a raw ass song while we was in, um, while we was just in Atlanta. Um, again, I don't know what's going on Starline. There's only a few songs I know for sure are going on Starline. I just made that one last week, so I don't know for sure, but it was definitely a vibe. I, that's that's one of my like, you know, and this shit like everybody says this, but like, you, it's a lot of things that are your peers, and there's some people that you know. You be around every once in a while, and there's people that are actually your friends. And I say Yachty is somebody that's been my a real friend of mine since like 2015. So, um, shout out to shout out to Yachty, shout out to shout out to Boat. Somebody said James Blake. That's another one of my homies. I should hit up James Blake. Somebody said Action Bronson. Rennie got jokes, but me and Rennie got the same forehead. So that's crazy that you would even say that we got the same forehead. Let's see. Who else? Somebody said Anderson Pack AP. You know, AP was on the original. Uh, AP was on the original. Uh, Let's go on the run. Somebody said J. Hud. That would be hard. I don't know. I never thought about that. Y'all should be my A&R, y'all. I never thought about that. Never thought about that. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.